All right, now when we left off, I decided to pull that timer cover and yank that camshaft out of there. So that's exactly what I did. And then I got Edelbrock part number 2152 camshaft and lifter kit for Oldsmobile 400 to 455 big blocks. And guess what? I swapped that cam in there. That bump stick is now inside our torque box. More power, baby. And you know what? This kit came with a set of hydraulic flat tappet lifters. You know what? Part number 411511. Yeah, I think they use the same ones in Pontiacs and Buicks and stuff like that. But you can correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not a freaking expert, okay? I just like to spin tires. And then... We got our double roller time and chain installed into that there torque box. Then we put our timer cover back on, our water pump, a harmonic balancer, everything like that. Buttoned it up tight as a blouse. And then we flipped it. We flipped the script on it, as you can see. After that, I did the oil pan, cleaned everything up, got it nice and clean, nice and dry. Yeah, so what? I skimmed it with a little RTV, hold the gasket in place. Then we plopped down our oil pan and i told you in the last video that was a moroso stock style oil pan lied right to you that pan's a specter okay don't mind the mess of the shop so now we got our oil pan installed our cam in our front back together damper on timing freaking marker water pump now we're getting ready to slam in these edelbrock lifters Get our push rods back in, our top end all buttoned up nice like. Then I'll probably try to pre-lube the engine, make sure we're getting oil up through all the push rods before I put the frickin' manifold on. That way I can just see what's going on. And then if I'd, there's some kind of issue, uh, it's less for me to pull back apart. Got all of our stuff lined up here. Part numbers are all in the description for everything we're going to use when building up this engine. There's the car right there. She's going to find a home right there where that 307 is coming right out. Bye-bye. No need you. All right. So now let's get into it. Let's give a little tug on this bump stick and get this small boy out. Oh yeah, slides real smooth. Well, let's get this sucker sauced up and jam this salamander in the hole. See what we got working with. Now you're gonna want to be uh, nice and generous with your lubricants here. You know, just gonna sauce the whole thing right up nice. Pure sauce. You don't want to have a lack of sauce, so why the fucking bother? Oh, blue glove right there on it. Frick. I'm partially naked. That's all right. Just sauce her up. Good and saucy. Blue second glove out of me. Look at me now. I look like a cheap hooker now. That's all right. Let's just get rid of them. There's only one way to clean these things when you got to barehand it like that. I'm telling you right now. Good old Canadian clean all. Just rub around it like that. You get a little towel. You get a little wipe like that. Now that is going to keep you good till later when you're ready to actually wash these things. Because I know you're going to need them. Now this new timing set that we're running is Edelbrock Performer Series. Street Strip. Part number 7813. Says it does all the way from Oldsmobile 260 to 455 V8. Can't go wrong, baby. We're going to go with figure six, a standard configuration. We're not going to advance or retire our time, and we're going to be street driving this car a lot. And yeah, we just want it to idle nice and run good. So let's do it. Now, what you want to do is just take your top time and sprocket there, slide it onto the camshaft just really loosely so you can easily turn it. And then just roughly line up your 
marks there. This top sprocket only has the one mark. So whichever time and position you chose on the crankshaft, you would just line up this one mark from the camshaft to that one. We went with the stock configuration. Chain hung on there. Slide it in there nice and smooth like. Now this ain't hitting it. Oh, well maybe that is hitting it, but it popped right on, so go ahead and judge. I'll just use both hands, get more creative than a freaking artist. This is where I friggin' all my years in the friggin' art academy come into play. Tell you right now. There's the biscuits and the gravy. Here's a secret tech tip. Take your shop vac, shoot the old piece of friggin' engine hose off some car or something that you pulled apart one time. Paint and tape that you might use for fixing up something crappy when you feel like painting it. Create yourself a nice little suction device and check and then when you're cleaning up your motor. Clean up your, uh, all your extra, uh, great paint that you've been spraying in there. Just like that. Wow. Now it's going to leave as clean as a whistle, and she's about as safe as your mother's arms. All right, now let's get into these lifters. Now this is the set of lifters that came with the cam kit, but now... I got another secret tech tip using your special little oil majigger there. If you got yourselves one of these little oil pumpers there. And then you get your arson. These are typically used for inspecting arsals. But I am an arsal, so inspect this. Now you got your lifter there, you see you got the hole in the side where it pumps the oil through right there. So if you just take your little majigger, come over here and get a look at this right from the top. Take your majigger, press it on that hole, bring it over top of this, and just start pumping oil into it. Boom, till it fills right up through the top. And then just keep pumping till there's no more air, just straight oil, and then boom. That lift is loaded. I didn't have to soak that overnight. Nothing. Just like that, real quick. Just keep pumping it till it quits flowing air. No more bubbles. That sucker's ready to go right there. So here I got the, the Fell Pro, the full engine gasket kit for the Oldsmobile 455. Boom, boom, baby. Comes with everything you need. Head gaskets, man, exhaust manifold gaskets. The only gas, this thing this doesn't come with is intake manifold gasket, and that's because the OE is an oil valley pan style gasket so what I ended up doing was I ended up getting the Fell Pro uh, performance head gasket for our intake but right now we're just searching for our freaking timing cover gasket here every gasket you need I'm looking for this sucker rattler bam just a paper gasket about the Oldsmobile 455 is that the front timing cover is located by these two dowels pop there goes the little weasel right there so I just got this cheapy harmonic balancer installer it uh, it'll do the trick 
useful. You find your bits, your pieces you need. And it just goes on like butter. These old mobiles. Right there. So this gasket set comes with three water pump gaskets. I believe they're for different years of engines. I don't know, maybe one's for like a 425, one's for like a 400. But basically just look at your water pump and uh, use the one that matches up with the water pump. For us, it's this one with the little shoe dicky there, little swapper. So yeah, what I did here is I skimmed the block with a little bit of Permatex gray stuff, and then I got the gasket stuck down on there just like bada bing. Then I got my water pump that also gave a skim with the gray stuff. So I'm just going to hang her up there with a couple bolts here. You're going to want to uh, make sure your, your spadoink is nice here when you slap her down. Line her up. Just beautiful like that. Just hang her up there with a couple bolts. Like so. Yeah, well, we got her flipped over there. We got our surfaces all cleaned, all dried, all ready to apply. Let's do it. When you install your front main seal, I put a little dab of assembly lube on the nipple. There's a nipple in the center that goes into a small hole. Start by installing that center first with a little bit of lube so it slides in nice and easy and then work your way back both sides. Same on this side, skimmed with a little RTV just to hold that gasket in place. The rear seal sits up over top of the cork. Make sure that it's not pushed to one side more than the other and that it's flush, sit nice. Plug it, big frosty treat the fridge like a lunchbox. I got the 84 blades with the rust spots. But I can make a tiger smoke when the clutch pops. There's no love lost, it's big frost. Got no concern. Well, let's get these lifters installed. This is a brand new set of lifters on a brand new camshaft, so it doesn't really matter where I place them. But if we were reusing these lifters on this on the old cam. You would make sure you want to put them right back where they came from. You can see those are all still full of oil from when I pumped them up full there friggin' earlier. Nice and smooth like butter. That's a beautiful thing right there. That's a real beautiful thing. And we still got all of our push rods laid out here perfectly just how we left them slide them in right where they come from right back in their homes right where you belong you get in there where you belong now here's a secret nobody's been telling you take your little assembly lube there and just put a little dab of do on the top of each of these push rods. They don't need to go crazy, but for golly sakes, dab them, folks. So the reds are all smooth as x lax crap. You're gonna love it. So I'm just going to turn the motor over and work up one side, then keep turning it over and work up the other side. I could jump back and forth as I open and close, but this way I'll just know it's all done. Everyone's done. So I'll throw you in the time lapse for now and we'll get these suckers torques. Well, it's just torquing down the rock arms, and I got to this fifth one on the first side, and it just kept turning and turning. I'm wondering what the hell's going on. So I went back over here with the torque wrench, put it on, go pop, pop. Torque wrench is still set, still good. 
So hop back on this one. I start tightening it a little bit more. Yeah, here, pop, all right. We blown her to bits. Broke her right in two. So I guess that to be it for a few days. I'm going to have to order up some new freaking hardware for these. Might as well get a brand new set, do them all. What a kick in the stones. That's all right, though. It takes a lot more than that to hold us down. You kind of expect maybe the odd thing might go wrong if you're freaking no expert. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I'll be back with some new hardware next time you see me.